Can you tell what it is? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. As if you see me looking all worried, it's usually because somebody's looking like they're about to knock the camera over. Okay, so this device is basically for fishing. So the idea is from my mate Sample. So if you're watching, thank you very much, buddy. And uh, yeah, let's uh, start with a knot around here. It's actually quite a cold wind. You're probably hearing some of the wind, along with some panting. Yeah, it's a warm day. Yeah, so basically, I'm wrapping the line around here and then it goes through the hole, a load on the end. And I can sit here and bob the lure up and down and hopefully someone will bite. So, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> Yeah, this lake where I am, it's not very good. Uh, I've not got a car or a snowmobile. There is a nice river closer to home. Uh, the reindeer herder has got his reindeer on that land at the moment, so, so we're avoiding it to avoid disturbing them. Uh, and also, I know through experience, as if I film, <laughs> I don't catch anything, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I have caught fish, ice hole fishing on this lake before, but it wouldn't be one of my favoured locations. It's just, I don't have much time and yeah. Okay, so let's have a bit of access. Right. Take some photos of this knife as well while I'm out for the uh, Hulters Fuzz fan page. <laughs> so I don't really have very much to do with very many Facebook groups, but. There are a couple, well, there's two, <laughs> which are uh, both run by subscribers that I take a look at sometimes. So I've run my own groups in the past, uh, but I tend to like to have quite niche subject matter. Uh, bushcraft and survival fishing was one, bushcraft in Lapland was another, which I still have, I just don't really look at very much. And, you know, uni, uni, no, no, no. Yeah, the thing is people post all kinds of stuff that's unrelated and there's a million other pages for that. You know, it's uh, bushcraft in, in Lapland, for example. You know, things like feather sticks and fat wood, all of that kind of stuff's relevant. Uh, yeah, so pictures of... Damascus knives and yeah it's annoying <laughs> it really is and with all of the YouTube stuff wow <laughs> it's above zero so it's uh, <laughs> actually feels really warm in my hands <laughs> yeah so I don't really have time with Facebook and uh, YouTube and Instagram and I like to stick to YouTube more than anything else uh, I do do Instagram a little bit 
it does automatically upload a lot of stuff to Facebook as well. <sighs> and I'm going off topic, but that doesn't matter because I don't have to put anything about ice hole fishing in the title, so <laughs> I can choose the topic later. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Let's make a hole in the ice, Uni. Be good, be good. Don't knock me bear over. Uni, Uni, stay away from the camera for God's sake. You stay away. Listen, we've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. Listen, we've got to be running out of battery because it's too cold for that battery, Uni. Too cold. You've got to be very careful with the blades of these things because they're very sharp and very, very delicate. And that's the depth of the ice. <laughs> you can buy special tools for clearing out the sludge. I've brought a sieve from home instead. And it does actually look like it's a bit too big for the hole. The ice tends to float to the top anyway. I usually just use my hands, but I'm not feeling that hardcore today. Okay, so I'm in probably about the most sparsely populated area of Europe. There's not many people, but everybody fishes. Also, in the winter time, well, you've seen how much ice we've got. A lot of these lakes and rivers are really shallow. Uh, so there's actually not that much water in the winter so there's not so much space for the fish and everybody fishes so the fish get caught so really to fish here it helps as if you're from here and as if you've been fishing here all of your life and as if your parents have taught you a few special places to go uh, and also as if you've got a snowmobile in the winter then you can get anywhere but uh yeah it's not all about catching lots of fish it's such a beautiful sunny day and uh i'm enjoying the sunshine with the uni beast Arrgh. come on Ay, where is she come on uni okay so this is ice hole number two now as if I was being really professional about this, I'd have ice holes everywhere and be moving from one to the other. But uh, up ahead, the island that you see, uh, <laughs> a very, very long time ago, some tax collectors came to Heta and the local people roughed them up a bit and uh, left them marooned on that island. I mean, when you look how far it is actually from uh, <laughs> from the shore, yeah, I mean, I, get, I guess they'd have to be pretty bad swimmers not to have made it. But, yeah, there is actually a fireplace on this island, which is one of the reasons why I'm fishing on this part of the lake. Uh, I was looking on the map before and there's actually a place up there 
that uh, the lake narrows out and there's some there's some deeper sections which says to me turbul turbulent water maybe there'd be a little bit more activity there uh, but really I don't care if I don't catch anything it's such a beautiful day I'm chilling out with Uni and uh, yeah from what I've seen of here I guess we've got uh, I guess we've got quite a few pike lurking in this area over here. Uh, I know in the area that the, the other hole is in, and more in this direction, there are fish. I've caught perch here, both in the summer and in the winter, uh, in the past. But, yeah, I'm not going to catch any trout, and if I'm really fishing, I want trout because they uh, they taste so much nicer than pike and perch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bearded Barmer Bush Grafter, I don't know as if you're watching, but hey, check that out for a bluebird sky, hey? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice channel that I've not watched in a little while. Quite hard keeping up on, keeping on top of other people's videos. Okay, so I'm going to do a little minor adjustment. Yeah, so this setup here, it helps me to vary the depth. And the thing is, I need a little bit of room to actually get my finger in there, or thumb. To actually lift the line up. And I can still be fishing a bit while I'm doing this. <laughs> now this wood is so hard. I'm used to carving with birch. And uh, I guess this is probably hickory. This axe handle, by the way. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> it's not my axe. It wasn't me that broke it. But looking at the grain orientation... And I'm not talking about, like, looking at it from the bottom, but th the grain ran completely off. And, of course, the head came off it. I've, I've, I've just never seen an axe handle so bad. <laughs> you know, I'm actually quite worried if I get a big pike, <laughs> will it snap the, uh, the gizmo, the gizmo, the, the pilky device, the... Well, it's not a fishing rod, is it? What the hell would you call one of these? <laughs> there was a dog sled went past before. Don't know who that was. Somebody dog sledding round here that's not us. It wasn't a safari, it was just someone with their own dogs, I guess. So, dog sledding, it's not a big thing in Finland. You know, I mean, up here in Lapland, they had reindeer pulling sleighs. And, you know, instead of consuming lots of meat, reindeer pr provide lots of meat. It's quite a sensible option. Well, everyone, as I expected, uh, we haven't got anything yet. It's been about three hours. Three, four hours, maybe. And... Uh, yeah, so next week I'm going to Camp Gookily. There's about a 300% more chance of catching a fish. Uh, and also it's more likely to be a trout rather than pike and perch. When it comes to eating, pike and perch, they're, they're quite nice cooked on a campfire with a bit of uh, lemon pepper and a bit of smoked flavour. You can also smoke them. They're really good smoked. Uh, trout is just good eating. Trout's good food. Uh, yeah, but uh, next week in Camp Gookily, that's likely to be a nice whole fishing video on the Spanish channel. I'll probably film something else. And uh, yeah, this works a lot better now. <laughs> I can get me hand in there. 
adjust the depth. Yeah. And this system, it works really nice. Uh, the, the ordinary commercial normal things with the rail, they're probably a little bit better, to be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, the tape's a little bit more sensitive and bouncy. And you've got a reel. Well, let's give you guys one last look around. Springtime is such a beautiful time to be in Lapland. All of this sun and snow, and it's really, really not cold. I mean, it's below freezing point. So, but it doesn't feel cold. It's dry. There's no dampness in the air. And, and that sun, that sun is just incredible. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.